Hello students, I cordially welcome you all to this new session. Let's get started with a new unit titled Around a Medicinal Creepo written by K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi. Students, before getting ourselves onto the main script of this present unit, let's see the biography of K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi. I hope you are all well aware of who K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi is. He was the son of Kovempu, who was awarded the first Dhanapita Award for his Kannada literature. Students, taking an account of the biography of the author of this present unit, what do we get to see is that K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi was born in the year of 1938 and his last ritual rites were performed in the year of 2007, which means he passed away in the year of 2007. This period, beginning from 1938 to 2007, was his living period during which he lived his life. He was a prominent Kannada writer. He was highly recognized as well-known and the significant Kannada writer, novelist. In his later years of his writing, our Tejasvi became one of the successful novelists. Photographer Tejasvi lived his life amidst nature. He loved taking the pictures of nature so that he became one of the photographer as well. Hornithologist, which means a person who goes on studying about the life of birds is called an ornithologist. He became one of the ornithologists. Publisher Under Tejasvi, numerous books were published. This is how he became one of the publishers as well. Painter Our Tejasvi turned himself to be one of the painters. And at last, environmentalist. Tejasvi turned himself to be one of the environmentalists. This is how he played many roles in his career as a writer, who made a great impression on the novel period of Kannada literature. After writing all these genres of Kannada literature, our Tejasvi left his own mark especially on the Navya period and he had left a prof profound impact on the Navya period of Kannada literature and inaugurated the Pandaya epoch with his short story collection Abachurina Post Office by writing a short story collection under the heading of Abachurina Post Office he introduced an era that is Bandaya epoch. Under the collection of his short story writing that is Apachurina post office. So, in the earlier stages of his writing career, Tejas wrote poems. In the initial stage of his writing, our Tejasvi especially focused on writing the poems but later concentrated on short stories, novels, and essays. Later in his years, later in his life, our Tejasvi focused on writing short stories, novels, and essays. Thus, he became a remarkable short story writer, novelist, and an essayist. He has a distinguished style of writing. That is what we call our Tejasvi when he started producing many genres of literature. He was identified by many readers. His style of writing was distinguished one, which means it was very successful. It was highly regarded by his readers. So that he has had such a distinguished style of writing, which was very successful and admired by many readers. 
which has heralded a new era in Kannada literature, especially the style of writing that he adopted in him, introduced or what we call heralded in a sense announced or declared a new era in the Kannada literature. Students, the literary works that were written by K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi or Kiragorina Gayaligalu, which was made into a cinema. Jugari Kras and Maya Loka. These three were the major literary works of K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi. Apart from The biography of K.P. Purna Chandra Tejasvi, taking an account of around a medicinal creeper, what do we get to see? Is it our Tejasvi was a nature lover, which means he had fallen in love with a nature. On speaking about the biography of Tejasvi, I told you people earlier that he lived his life amidst nature. He believed that nature itself is a teacher. Nature itself is a preacher to him so that he loves very much nature. He led his life in the midst of nature. I told you people earlier and now I am going to remind you people the same sentence that is he led his life in the midst of nature which means he lived his life in the midst of the nature as he loved it passionately. They, he bought an estate at Mudigere, which comes under the district of Chikmagluru to live his life in his adulthood. When he reached a certain period or stage of adulthood, our Tejasvi bought an estate to live his life. This story that is around a medicinal creeper is all about an event which happens in his estate that he has bought in his adulthood. His experience is portrayed through this story of around a medicinal creeper. Our Purnachandra Tejasvi has experienced many things in his estate after uh, when he started living his life in heat, he tasted many experience in heat. His experience that he, that he tasted in his own estate after living his life in heat is portrayed in the present context of this story. The present story discusses about the Ayurveda system of medicine. That's a we can also say in another verse Indian medical system or we can say Indian medicinal system and we have an another system that is allopathic allopathic medicinal system allopathic medicinal system is not the system of India it is what we call uh, an English medicine and here another thing is that uh, in India, especially in our subcontinent of India, we have got different types of medicines. They are allopathic, allopathic medicine, Ayurvedic system of medicine, and homeopathic, and of course we have Yunani medical system. These are the major four system, systems of medicine that are being introduced in our India. After having heard the word of allopathic, what do we get to see is that it is a type of English medicine. After the completion of second PU, each student who has successfully completed their second PU will go, one who desires to go, one who desires to uh, get a good status in the society, they will focus on becoming a doctor. They will join MBBS course. That is what we call allopathic medicine. Ayurveda. It is what we call Indian medicinal system. This is from this Indian medic medicinal system completely relies on the roots, leaves and the fruits of 
the tree we prepare medicines from all these things especially from the roots leaves and the fruits of a tree and homeopathic is a system that is a pseudo scientific system of alternative medicine at last we have unani medicinal system it treats a person as the whole not as a group of individual parts this unani medicinal system treats a person treats a disease or an a person who is stricken with an illness as a whole but not as a group of individual parts it aims at treating the body mind and soul this is these are the four kinds of medicinal system being introduced in our subcontinent of india uh, students let let all of us get started with the story around a medicinal creepo right now have a look at the title of this around a medicinal creepo each sentence that that is in the present context of this story runs around the medicinal creepo the creepo that our purnachandra tejasvi speaks about in this present text runs around the creepo that our tejasvi speaks here in this present context of this story uh, is all about us uh, what we call an uncommon creepo let's see what does our purnachandra tejasvi say here in this story after having seen the title around a medicinal creepo we get to see each line of the story of this uh, around a medicinal creepo revolves around a medicinal creepo which has a medicinal value in it here our purnachandra tejasvi focuses his attention over a creepo which has a medicinal value in it let's see what does our tejasvi say over here this uh, medicinal creepo especially was written by kp purnachandra tejasvi in the kannada version titled moolikeya balliya sutta and later this uh, moolikeya balliya sutta was translated by km shrinivas gowda into an anglicized version that we have here as around a medicinal creepo this uh, anglicized version of around a medicinal creepo is written by as i told you people earlier km shrinivas gowda now this story has been published in a book called parisarad kathegalu and this is all about around a medicinal creepo along with the biography of kp purnachandra tejasvi students let's go through the story that is written by our tejasvi this is the story of an unusual medicinal creepo the present story opens up with this line that is this is a story all about a creepo i told you people earlier that the story is all about a kind of creepo but the name of it is not given here it is a kind of creepo this is the story of an unusual medicinal creepo the creepo that our purnachandra tejasvi speaks about in this story as a medicinal value in it it has the power of healing a person who is stricken with an illness or disease he would prefer to take such kind of a creepo on which our purnachandra tejasvi speaks on this is the story of an unusual which means the creepo that our tejasvi speaks about is not 
the usual one it is an unusual one which means it is an extraordinary creeper which has a medicinal value in it which can cure a diseased person one who is stricken with an illness such ability is in the medicinal creeper that our tejasvi speaks about there were so many stories about this creeper in the primitive ages since primitive ages especially in the rural areas in terms of indian medical medicinal system many people uh, could do narrate many stories around many creepers as they have had medicinal value in them which could cure the illness of the person who was stricken with the disease so in this way many people narrated many stories about this creeper that's what our tejasvi say has ear says as ear there were many stories left behind us about this creeper the creeper that our tejasvi speaks about it had been told many stories about it by by many people there were many stories behind us about this creeper some of them were true there there was a reality in terms of this creeper when people started narrating a story about this creeper some of the stories that were told by the people was true that's what our tejasvi says as here some of them were true the stories that were said by the people were true some of them were highly imaginary some stories which were told by the people were imaginary which means they were of uh, holy fanciful which means uh, they cannot be trustworthy which means uh, they cannot be put in reality they ha uh, they were uh, told highly imaginary they were as i told you people earlier they were totally fanciful they were uh, that's what we call imaginary and some totally false among all these stories that were told by the people some of them were totally false we can't believe such kind of a stories thus the people had the tendency in telling such kind of a stories about this creeper to go beyond these stories and learn some facts about this plant took me almost 20 years the students here what do we get to see is it to go beyond these stories here the stories that were told by the people had the boundary in it it has a limit it had a limited boundary around it to go beyond it beyond the limitations of these stories our purna chandra tejasvi wanted to go beyond it to know more about the facts that are that were associated with this creeper after having a mere curiosity in him to know more about this creeper our tejasvi as he wanted to know more about the facts about this creeper he had gone beyond beyond the extension of these stories that were told by the people he uh, he had broken the limitations that were drawn by the people as they told the stories that's how he had gone beyond these stories he didn't stick on to the uh, he didn't stick in a traditional way but where has he had gone away beyond these stories and he learnt some facts about this plant after pushing himself away from these stories that were told by the people our tejasvi 
learnt some facts learnt some realities that were associated that were related to this medicinal creeper it always took our narrator kp purnachandra tejasvi almost 20 years our tejasvi purnachandra tejasvi took almost 20 years to learn some facts about the creeper that he speaks here this is what do we get to see in this present paragraph let's make a move under the next slide a coffee seed bed has to be protected from the sun by putting up a shade over it i told you people earlier that our tejasvi bought an estate at mudigere which comes under which uh, which has come under the district of chikmagaluru you all know the fact that chikmagaluru is a district known for growing coffee as he lived his life in the district of chikmagaluru our tejasvi also grew up those coffee seeds here the same thing that happens in his own estate a coffee seed bed has to be protected coffee seed bed bed in sense an area of soil in which uh, which has been specially prepared for planting seeds in or growing seeds in it is a, an area of land which has been specially prepared it has been specially or exclusively prepared for planting seeds in it that's what we call bed it looks like a frame a border ha huh. a coffee seeds are thrown on the bed those seeds has those seeds have to be protected from the sun to nourish or what we call nurture or we can say to make these seeds grow these seeds have to be protected from the sun as he gives is rays out directly towards these seeds as they were lying on the bed as they were being thrown by the labors of his estate they have to be protected they have to be rescued from the rays of the sun that's what our tejasvi says as here a coffee seed bed has to be protected the frame or what we call uh, the frame that was prepared by our tejasvi and his laborers to grow coffee seeds that has to be protected that has to be rescued or saved from the rays of the sun by putting up a shade over it by putting up a shade in a sense protection by putting up a protection over the bed that was prepared by tejasvi and his laborers here who do we see as laborers is it our tejasvi appointed some people as his laborers to work on his farm on his estate by putting up a shade or protection over the bed they they can provide a shelter a shadow over this bed to protect a coffee seed once we were erecting a bamboo a bamboo frame for such a shade once we were who does this word we refer to here is it our narrator himself who is the narrator our kp purnachandra tejasvi himself and his laborers later as the story progresses you will come to know who are the laborers of tejasvi once including our tejasvi along with his laborers all of them were erecting a bamboo frame which means they were constructing a bamboo frame for such a shade to provide a shelter or what we call a protection or we can say a shadow over the coffee seed a coffee seed bed our tejasvi along with his laborers they were constructing a bamboo frame using the bamboo shoots that is what we call uh, 
ಬಿದಿರಿನ ಗಳಗಳು ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಆ ಬಿದಿರಿನ ಗಳಗಳನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಮ್ಮ ಆಥರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಅವನ ಒಂದು ಲೇಬರರ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಆ ಗಳಗಳನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನೆರಳನ್ನು ಕೊಡುವಂತಹ ಕೆಲಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ನಿರತರಾಗಿರುವಂಥದ್ದನ್ನು ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕುಡ್ ಟೈ ದ ಕೇನ್ ಪೀಸಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ಫ್ರೈಮ್ ವಿ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ವನ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಟ್ರೈಡ್ ದರ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಟೈ ಅಪ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯಾಂಬೂ ಫ್ರೈಮ್ to provide a shade or protection or shadow to a coffee seed bed all of them needed required something with which we could tie using by using something they could tie the bamboo frames each other so our maratho and his laborers and his laborers needed something that is a thread with which they could tie up the cane pieces placed across the frame i told you people earlier that all these people were constructing a bamboo frame to provide a shade while they were carrying out their actions to tie up the cane they had brought some canes some bamboo some bamboo frames or we can say bamboo canes there to tie up them bamboo pieces bamboo pieces were brought before them to construct a bamboo frame to provide a shelter provide a shade over a coffee seed bed so that they needed something that is in the form of a thread which could be used to tie up the bamboo cane pieces they should be placed across the frame these bamboo cane pieces should be placed across the frame by using a thread they could tie up all those bamboo cane pieces so we sent sanna one of the laborers laborers of our tejasvi was made to go to the forest to bring some creepers so we sent sanna to get some creepers from the forest there was a forest nearby after finding no thread near them our tejasvi and his other laborers made one of the characters one of the laborers that is a sanna to get some creepers from the nearby forest that is what our uh, tejasvi and is other laborers did here they made one of their laborers sanna to bring or fetch some creepers from the forest which was nearby them he bought a whole bundle instead of plucking some creepers our character sanna took a whole bundle he brought a whole bundle there sanna brought a whole bundle which means numerous or collections of creepers were in that bundle he brought a whole bundle and put it before our narrator and his other colleagues and his other laborers after finding the whole after finding a whole bundle which was brought by sanna the another character is introduced that is mara mara opened the bundle and while sitting after finding a bundle which was brought before mara and the narrator mara opened the bundle to now and to take some creepers out of it he opened it who mara opened the bundle while sifting sifting in the sense while separating each other the bundle that had uh, several creepers in it which was carried by our sanna before the narrator and uh, laborers while sifting while separating all those creepers he suddenly looked at one of the creepers mara 
all of a sudden taking no time at all looked at one of the creepers which grabbed his attention at it he all of a sudden without taking no time without taking no time at all mara looked at one of the creepers which grabbed his attention at it and scolded sanna after having seen one of the creepers mara became angry and scolded sanna he started abusing sanna for having seen one of the creepers which grabbed his attention at it hey why did you plug this you fool what did mara scold sanna is that hey why did you plug this you fool he lacks the awareness he lacks knowledge he lacks much knowledge which should be plucked out of all those creepers that were ground in the forest that's what our mara scolded sanna here why did you remove this a uh, kind of uh, one kind of the creepers why did you plug this you fool this is how mara scolded sanna here one i inquired half the having seen this uh, incident with is a bare eyes our narrator when our narrator he inquires which means when i inquired our narrator who who does this word high refer to here our narrator kp purnachandra tejasvi after having seen all these incidents before him with his uh, uh, naked eyes what did he do is that he inquired mara here when he inquired with is uh, uh, having a mere curiosity in him he wanted to get to know about this creeper and he wanted to get to know why did mara scold sanna here so to know more about this creeper our purnachandra tejasvi inquired mara he said that it was a medicinal creeper after being asked or inquired by tejasvi mara said that it was a medicinal creeper the medicine a medicinal creeper that was brought that was put in a bundle by sanna was put before all of them and it was introduced by mara as a medicinal creeper after being asked or inquired by our kp purnachandra tejasvi he answered our narrator saying that it was a medicinal creeper which had a medicinal value in it which could cure an illness or which can which could cure a disease who was stricken with an illness or a disease sanna said that there was plenty of it in the forest han hearing those words from mara sanna said that there was a plenty of it in the forest there were many or uh, there were many or numerous creepers being ground in the forest we could see we could get number of creepers in the forest itself that's what sanna said here mara eagerly said now on hearing those words from sanna there was a plenty of it in the forest mara got curious that's what we call eagerly mara eagerly said out of his mere mere curiosity mara said come show me where it is now our mara invites sanna uh, saying that come come with me show me where this medicinal creeper is and show me let me now where is this creeper is where this creeper locates and took sanna into the forest and later mara 
had taken Sanna into the forest to now where does this medicinal creeper locate in the forest? Out of sheer curiosity, sheer which means uh, mere or we can say just, out of just curiosity now having seen all these incidents our K.P. Purnachanar Tejasvi was very curious to know the things. So, out of mere curiosity, I also went with them. Tejasvi also made his way forward all along with Mara and Sanna to get to know about this medicinal creeper. I also went with them, with Sanna and Mara, our K.P. Purnachanar Tejasvi made his way forward towards the forest. That is how I got to know about this medicinal creeper. After making his way forward towards the forest to get to know about this medicinal creeper, in this way our K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi got to know or came to know about this medicinal creeper until this moment. Until this moment our K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi didn't know anything even a int about this medicinal creeper. From there onwards, after having a mere curiosity to know more about this medicinal creeper, our K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi took almost 20 years to know some facts about this medicinal creeper from here onwards. One, after making his way forward towards the forest all along with Mara and Sanna. From there onwards, it took almost 20 years to know about this medicinal creeper. This is how our K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi came to know about this unusual and extraordinary medicinal creeper. When Sanna showed this plant, the plant Mara became very active. When Sannapa, Sanna are saying, when Sannapa showed the plant to Mara, when Sannapa was made to go all along with the narrator and Mara, all of them were in the midst of the forest to, to see the, this medicinal creeper. When they made their way towards the forest, Sannapa went nearer or closer to the medicinal creeper and showed it to Mara. And after having seen the medicinal creeper, Mara became very active. Now, having seen this medicinal creeper, Mara became very active. He was very enthusiastic. He was very, uh, he, is, uh, he was left in a zeal to see this medicinal plant. This is how he became a very active. He caught hold of one of the tendrils and tied it to a nearby tree. What did Mara do is that he caught hold of one of the tendrils. He took hold of one of the tendrils into his hand. After having seen by Sanapa one of the tendrils, he took hold, which means he had taken one of the tendrils in his hand. Tendrils in a sense, that is what we call Balliya Kudi and Takariti. Adana, Atatana Kaili, Bigiagi, Hidkorta Hidana, Yaru, Mara, Tana Kaili Bigiagi, Hidkonda. Hidkonda Nantra Hen Martana, he tied this tendrils to a nearby tree. Later, after taking hold of one of the tendrils in his hand, he tied it to a nearby tree. I was surprised at that, having seen the actions of Mara. Our K.P. Purnachandra Tejasvi was surprised or astonished to see such kind of actions exhibited by Mara. He was very curious to know as he witnessed some unusual actions being shown by Mara. When he, when Mara tied one of the tendrils to a nearby tree, 
our narrator got surprised to see this and asked mara a question mara why did you tie that creeper to a tree now having curiosity in him the narrator asked mara a question why did you tie the creeper that you took hold of you in your hand to the nearby tree why did you tie it up the thief he said now it will be lying here what did mara say the narrator is that it's a thief idondu kalla idu kalla anta ata helta adane mara this is how he conceived many stories in this present story later you people will come to know how he conceives a story as the story progresses as we get our selves towards as we uh, make our selves forward or ahead we will come to know how the stories the false uh, how the stories are constructed by mara the thief what does mara say is it it's a thief this creeper is a thief idondu kalla he said ee tara heltane it will be lying here idu illene irli illene biddirli anta so that he tied this creeper to a nearby tree thanu illi kattidrindagi ee vandu balli illine biddirutte anta illu tappaskondlikke hagalla anta which means why uh, the word the thief i don't mean that uh, it uh, steals something ಇದು ಏನೋ ಕದ್ದಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಅಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೀನ್ ಬೈ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಹೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಯಾರಿಗಾದರೂ ಕಣ್ಣಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಯಾರದ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ನೋಡಿದ್ದೆ ಆದರೆ ಅದು ಕಣ್ಮರೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಒಂದು ಕತೆ ಜನರ ಮನದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ಹಾಳುವಾಗಿ ಬೇರೂರು ಟಿ ಬೇರೂರು ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೀಗೆ ಮಾರ ಹೇಳೋದನ್ನು ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ಈ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಥೀಫ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಒಂದು ಥೀಫ್ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಕರೆಯೋದನ್ನು ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೇವೆ ವೈ ವೆ ಡು ಯು ವೆ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರನ್ ಟು ಐ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ನಾವು ದ ನರೆಟ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಮಾರ ಅ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವೆ ಡು ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ರನ್ ಟು ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ರನ್ ಟು ಇದು ಹೋಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಾದರೂ ಕೈ ಅಥವಾ ಕಾಲಿದೆಯಾ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಪೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ hands so that if we have them we can run or we can walk wherever we like to go does it have any uh, pair of uh, legs or hands to run to idu hodlike enadru kuda hagutta nin elladru kuda idanna find out madidda nin elli eke ee tara yochistidira adu hodutte ant heli anta kelta irudanna nodutave ho you don't know about this creeper it seems that as our narrator has asked this question where do you think it will run to yavaga ee ondu question anna narrator avaru marage keltaro haga heltidare how when do we use this word how is it when we are surprised when we show our astonishment namge yavaga aashcharya agutto aga ee ondu ಪದವನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸೋದನ್ನು ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತಾವೆ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೀಮ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆಸ್ಕಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಇಟ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೀಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ ನೀವು ಯಾವಾಗ ನನಗೆ ಆ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೋ ಆಗ ನನಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತದೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಈ ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ತರಹದ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೀ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕರ್ಸಿಡು ಬೈ ಅ ಸೇಜ್ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಏನಾಗಿತ್ತು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಅ ಕರ್ಸಿಡ್ 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 ಇನ್ ಅ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಶಾಪವನ್ನು ಕೊಡಲಾಗಿತ್ತು ಬೈ ಅ ಸೇಜ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ಅಂತ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಕರಿತೀವಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರನ್ನೇ ನಾವು ಸೇಜ್ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಕರಿತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತವೆ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಮಿನಿ ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಎಗೋ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪೆಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕರ್ಸಿಡ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಶಾಪವನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಕೊಡಲಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಯಾರು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಅ ಸೇಜ್ ಒಬ್ಬ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿಯವರು ಈಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಂಟ ಮೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುಯಲ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುಯಲ್ ಅವರು ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿಕಲ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಪ್ರೀಚಿಂಗನ್ನು ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಒಬ್ಬ ಸೇಜು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಒಂದು ಶಾಪವನ್ನು
ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ಗೆ ಕೊಡೋದನ್ನು ನಾನು ನೋಡ್ಬೋದಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಆ ಥರ ಮಾರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಥೆಯನ್ನು ಹೇಳೋದನ್ನು ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ದ ಕರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಏನು ಅದು ಶಾಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ವೆನ್ ಸಮ್ ಒನ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ದೇ ಶಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಏನು ಶಾಪವನ್ನು ಕೊಡಲಾಗಿತ್ತು ಆ ಶಾಪ ಆ ಒಂದು ಸಾಧು ಏನು ಶಾಪವನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ವೆನ್ ಸಮ್ ಒನ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ I told you people earlier that this plant has medicinal value in it. A person who is stricken with a disease or an illness, he needs it to heal his illness or disease. So, when a person needs or requires this plant very immensely, it is a crucial time after being injured or wounded, they shall not find it. Those people who... want this creepo they shall not find this idanna avaru udukollikke hagalla anta yavaga avarige hagatya kandu barutho aa ondu samayadalli ee vandu creeper kannige kaanisodillu anta so when you want it and search for it you won't be able to find it for a dear life when you want it aga nan helda yen anta helda ಈಗ ಯಾರಿಗಾದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಗಾಯ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಇನ್ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಬಂದಿದ್ರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಕಾಯಿಲೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ರೆ ವೆನ್ ಆ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಆನ್ ಇಲ್ನೆಸ್ ದೆ ನೀಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ರಿಲೈನ್ ಆನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಈ ಹಿಂದೆ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿಯತ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ Uh, at the beginning of the 19th century or 20th century we could use all these things you gana ella onu kuda navu upayogisidha nanu nortta idare gida moolike galinda thagond bandantha ondu haushadiya sasyagalan gida moolike galinda madalpattanta ondu haushadi galanna taris tayarisalpattanta haushadi galanna navu namma gagiruvanta kaayilegalige athwa gaayagalige ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ವಾಸಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂಥದ್ದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಇದು ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೋ ವೆನ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಇದರ ಅಗತ್ಯ ಕಂಡು ಬರುತ್ತೋ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಇದರ ಅಗತ್ಯ ಕಂಡು ಬರುತ್ತೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಪುಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕ್ವೆಂಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಅದನ್ನು ಹುಡುಕಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೋ ನಮಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಅದರ ಅಗತ್ಯ ಬರುತ್ತೋ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾವೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಸರ್ಚನ್ನು ಮಾಡೇ ಮಾಡ್ತಾವೆ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೋದಾಗ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಡಿಯರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಅ ಕಂಫರ್ಟಬಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕರ್ಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಅ ಸೇಜ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಒಂದು ಕರ್ಸನ್ನ ಶಾಪವನ್ನ ಆ ಒಂದು ಸಾಧು ಇಟ್ಟಿದ್ರಂತೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರಂತೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ಗೆ ಅಂತ ಮಾರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನರೇಟರ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಇಮ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಟೈ ಇಟ್ಟು ಅ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಅದರಿಂದ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾರಣದಿಂದಾಗಿ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಮ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ನೋ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಡೂ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಮ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಟೈ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಅ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಈಗ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಯು taking no time at all in a hurry you must tie it to a nearby tree adu nimma kannige kanda takshana nive en madbek ant helidre adu tappuskolodrinda kannige kanasade irodrinda nantra nav adanna immediate aagi hatradalle iruvanta ondu marakke navu katbekante and so that it will be lying there only explained mara ಈ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಮಾರ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಥೆಯನ್ನ ನರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕಟ್ಟೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಏನ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ಕೇಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ನೀಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಅಲ್ಲೇನೆ ಬಿದ್ದಿರುವಂಥದ್ದನ್ನ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಮಾರ ಈ ಕಥೆಯನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅದು ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ
as a small leaves resembling beetle leaves this creepo the creepo on which we are all discussing right now it has small leaves adara ondu elegalellavu kuda enagibuttide andre tumbana chikkaneya gathravanna hondiruvanta ondu elegalu hagibuttide resembling beetle leaves beetle in a sense villedele anta hen kareythivalla villedeleyanna samanyavagi holuvanta ondu ele idagirutte resembling in a sense uh, looks like this creepo it has a this creepo as a small leaves in it resembles like ಬೀಟಲ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ವಿಳೆದೆಲೆಯನ್ನು ಹೋಲುವಂತಹ ಸಣ್ಣ ಎಲೆಗಳ ಹಾಗೆ ಇದು ಹೋಲಿಕೆಯನ್ನ ಪಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ವಿಳೆದೆಲೆಯ ಹಾಗೆನೆ ಇದು ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನುವಂತಹ ಮಾತನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೀರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಬಂಚ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಗ್ರೇಪ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಏನನ್ನ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ದ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಬಂಚ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇನ್ ಅ ಬಂಚ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ fruits are grouped together in a bunch ee vandu bunch antu helidre alli bahalashtu hannugalu gonchalu gonchalagi yav tara grapes galu hege gonchalu gonchalagi hannanna hondirutto adhe tarada hannugalanna ee creeper kuda produce anna madutante that's what he says as ear it bears or produces fruits hege produce madutte in a bunch number of fruits are being together in a bunch like that of grapes grapes na hannugalagi idu hannugalanna namage kodutte matta enannu nortave idu yav tara kanisutte antu heldre beetle leaves na hage viledele taraha idu holikeyanna samyateyanna hondide thumba chikka gathradalli irutte annuvattadanna navu illi nodidvi immediately after the rains when does it appear is that hagadra namage id yava kanisukolutte anta helodadre immediately after the rains this plant comes a yavaga nortave andre especially in the rainy season this plant comes up out of the ground ground inda horugade idu barutte yavaga especially in the rainy season malagalada sandarbhadalli matra ee ondu ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರೋದನ್ನ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಇಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರೋದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಗಮನಿಸಬಹುದಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಮ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ನೋ ಡಿಲೈ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ನೋ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ರೈನ್ಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ರೈನು ವೆನ್ ದ ರೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಮಳೆ ಸುರಿಯಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ವೆನ್ ದ ರೈನ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ರೈನ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಆ ಒಂದು ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಂದನೆ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಇದು ground in the avargade barodanna navu illi nodta idave and flowers very quickly matta enna nodtave idu horag bast baroda aste alla it gives out to us a flowers very quickly thumba begane ati shigratallane idu hoo galannu kuda namage kodutanta hoo galannu kuda idu bear madutte anta heltidare puts forth flowers hoo galanna ಹೊರಗಡೆ ತಂದಿದ್ದಲ್ಲನೆ ಮತ್ತೇನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಆ ಒಂದು ಹೂಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಪುಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಆ ಹೂಗಳೆಲ್ಲವೂ ಕೂಡ ಬೆಳೀಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹೂಗಳಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹೂಗಳಾಗಿದೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಕಾಯಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಂತರ ಆ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಕೊಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಇದು ಹಣ್ಣುಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಅದು ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಡೈಲ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಸಾವನ್ನ ಹಬ್ಬುತ್ತಂತೆ ಹೀಗೆ ಇದರ ಒಂದು ಲೈಫ್ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿಯವರು ತುಂಬಾ ಅದ್ಭುತವಾಗಿ ನಿರೂಪಿಸಿರುವುದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಗೈನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರೈನಿ ಸೀಸನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಇವದನ್ನ ಯಾವಾಗ ನೋಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅಗೈನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ವೆನ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಅಗೈನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರೈನಿ ಸೀಸನ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ವಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ಯಾಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಕಾಣಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂಥದ್ದು ಬರೀ ರೈನಿ ಸೀಸನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಆದರೆ ನಾವು ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ರೈನಿ ಸೀಸನ್ ವಿಂಟರ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ಮರ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ರೈನಿ ಸೀಸನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ರೈನಿ ಸೀಸನ್ 
this uh, creeper cannot be seen hmm? it even can't come up out of the ground yaa ondu season lu kuda horgade barodilvanta it only comes up it only comes up out of the ground again on the in the next rainy season mundina varsha baruvanta male galada sandarbhadalli horgade barodanna navi li nortavanta so in between no one sees this plant among all these seasons no person can see this plant we already got to know that it only comes up especially in the comes up especially in the rainy season it can't at all be seen in every season except rainy season so that among all these seasons this plant can't at all be seen no one sees this yaru kuda idanna nodlikke hagalla bere yavondu season alli kuda idu kanaskodalvanta because it is not seen for most of the year varshada yavode ondu tingalallu kuda except rainy season adondu rainy season anna ಹೊರತು ಪಡಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನು ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷದ ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ತಿಂಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಒಂದು ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದೇ ಪ್ರೊಬಬ್ಲಿ ಟೈ ಇಟ್ಟು ಆ ಟ್ರೀ ನಿಯರ್ ಬಾಯ್ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೀನ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪು ಇಮ್ಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈ ಇಟ್ಟು ಆ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ರೀ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಕಾಣಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಹತ್ತಿರದಲ್ಲೇ ಇರುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಮರಕ್ಕೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಕಟ್ಟಬೇಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈಡ್ ಆರ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇದರಿಂದ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ದಂಗಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಕಟ್ಟೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಟೈ ದಟ್ ಕ್ರೀಪರ್ ಟು ಆ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ರೀ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ನೋ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈಡ್ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಕಟ್ಟೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅದು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಲೊಕೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಮತ್ತೆ ಗುರುತಿಸಬಹುದಾಗಿದೆ ಅದು ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೂ ಕೂಡ ತಪ್ಪಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೌ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಟೈಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಅ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ಹೋ ಆಲ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದ ವೆರಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಾರ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಟೈಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಅ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ಟು ಅ ಟ್ರೀ and there is another character standing next to him there is sanna behind him our narrator as a stood behind sanna and what do you see further here he is it they probably tie to a nearby tree adu kandu takshana na atrada marakke ಕಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೆ ಹೋದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಗುರುತಿಸ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಲೊಕೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಟ್ ಮಾರಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಬಿಸಾರೈ ಆದರೆ ಮಾರ ಹೇಳುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಕಥೆಗಳೇನಿದಾವಲ್ಲ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ಹೋ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಬಿಸಾರೈ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಂಜ್ ತುಂಬ ವಿಚಿತ್ರವಾದಂತಹ ಕಥೆಗಳನ್ನು ಆತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾನಂತ ವಿತ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ಫೆಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ಯಾವುದು ನಮಗೆ ಪರಿಚಯ ಇರಲ್ಲೋ ಅಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಕಥೆಗಳನ್ನು ಮಾರ ಹೇಳೋದನ್ನು ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತವೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಮುಖವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾರ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಮೇಜರ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಮಾರ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಸಾರಿ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಬೈ ಮಾರ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸಸ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಬೈ ಮಾರ ಆರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಂಜ್ ವಿಚ್ we are unfamiliar with namage parichay illiruvanta thumba vichitravadanta kathagalanna mara heltaranta that one doesn't know which is true or which is false halare entha vichitra antu heldre mara heluvanta kathagalanna one doesn't know yarigu kuda gothagodilla adu yav obba vyaktiyu kuda hatha heluvanta kathagalu gothagodilla enu which is true or which is false yavane heliruvanta kathagalalli yavudu sari ide matta yavudu thappide yavudu sullu agide anuvantu gothagala ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಅವರ್ ನರೈಟವ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ರೀಡರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ವರ್ ನರೈಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ಹೋ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ವರ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ವರ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ವರ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಬೈ ಅವರ್ ಮಾರ 
ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಾರ ಮಾರನಂತಹ ಜನಗಳಿಗಷ್ಟನೇ ಇದು ಸೇರ್ಕೊಂಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಬಹುತೇಕ ಜನರು ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸೆಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿಜಾರ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ಇಂತಹ ಕತೆಗಳನ್ನು ಅವರು ಹೇಳೋದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಮಾರನಂತಹ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಗಳಿಗಷ್ಟೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ಲೆಟ್ ಸಿ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಯಾವುದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಏನು ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದಾದರೆ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಸಫರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ನಮಗೆ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇದೆ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಆರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಥೋಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ಹೋಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ನಮಗೆ ಹೇಳಿರುವಂತಹ ಕಥೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದು ಸರಿ ಇದೆ ಯಾವುದು ತಪ್ಪಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಗ್ರಹಿಸುವಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಏನು ಹೇಳುತ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಲ್ಲ ಇಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಇಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನು ಇಡೀ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ಗೆ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಒಂದು ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಏನಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಏನಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಭಾರತೀಯ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯವಾದಂಥ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಏನಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇದರ ಒಂದು ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣವಾದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಿಸ್ಟಮನ್ನು ಇದು ಅಕ್ವೈರನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ಸಫರ್ಸ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಅದು ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ಸನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಅದು ಅನುಭವಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಎಂತಹದ್ರಿಂದ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ನಿಂದ ಯಾವುದು ಸರಿ ಇದೆ ಯಾವುದು ಸುಳ್ಳಿದೆ ಯಾವುದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಯಾವ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಗೆ ಎಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಗಿಡ ಮೂಲಿಕೆಗಳನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನುವಂತಹ ವಿಷಯಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಮೆಡಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನ ಇಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಅನುಭವಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ನುವಂತಹ ಮಾತನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮುಂದೆ ನಮಗೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಲೈನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಫ್ 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 ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಕ್ರೀಪೋ ದ ಕ್ರೀಪೋ ವುಡ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಸಿ ತನ್ನಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತಹ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಸಿಯನ್ನು ಕಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನುವಂತ ನಂಬಿಕೆನೂ ಕೂಡ ಇದೆಯಂತೆ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸಫೋರ್ ಸಚ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಓವರ್ ಯು ದ ರಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಅ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡೆಲ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಐ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಆಲ್ ಥ್